Hi there, fellow friends and thinkers. Welcome back to EU Fu and Karako Yunlu, the horde of the black sheep. We're there and we'll try to strike against enemies in our territory. We have a revolt coming. High taxes, cultural and religious differences have caused unhappiness among our citizens. If this continues, it will drastically affect the stability of our nation. Oh no. Baghdad, the missionary. And we cannot deal with unrest in this time of war. We'll lower taxes. We're as cheap as that. <laughs> there we go. Um, we'll unite our forces here in, in Karakoyunlu. And ah, wait, what are you doing? Where are you going? Guys, no. Please, no. You need to move there. And once you are finished, Trade League disbanded, all right. Ooh, there's the no guys coming already. That's a little critical. They're moving to Elam. All right, forget Quam. We need you here. Forget Quam. The no guys are going to Koramabad. They're back to Koramabad. We'll move to Ardalan. Can we do that? Uh, yes. Pro oh, we can go to Ilam too. And we can catch them. That's great. That's great. Drahan Shah Turmush is there. Ready to strike. Let's see. Are we are we good at war? In this battle of Ilam, Khorezmi. Ah, uh, twenty-five percent shock damage decrease. Yeah, let's leave Jahan Shah. Oh. They have reinforcements. We have reinforcements as well. Come on. Do it. We're so good here. Take over the battle. When are you there? Now. Jahan Shah. In person is fighting this. Ooh, where's five shock? Come on, give us the shock round. Ooh, oh god, bad, bad rolls. Still, oh my god. Oh. More victories like this and we're losing. Still, it got us war score and we did it. And we have gained the glory seeker trait again. I'm not sure about this. Yeah, Jahan Shah. Oh, Jahan Shah Turmush is also a glory seeker. So we have two glory seekers. That's going to be interesting. Mm. Now. We want you guys to go over here. You have Siege 2, go to Ardalan and Siege it. And other guys will move about. Jahan Shah Karakoyunlu could go to Luristan and Siege it. Mm, yeah. I think Luristan is also one of our claims, so it's okay to go there. What is their supply limit? 15 even now. That's not bad. Look at that. Wow, we have so many people attached to it. The Jilan army. Yeah, it's definitely also... A good choice to go there. Let's make it a little quicker only. If we can take this fortress, it will be... Oh! Oh! The Ajami army, finally. Where are you going, Ajamis? We could leave some siege guys there, right? 
but there's 7.8k going out there so probably not that good an idea you're going to Quam. they're probably reuniting there we have to try this anyways move to Quam and take over Quam. They're moving now to the deeper country. We're recovering a bit. Yeah, this is our fighting army and this is our sieging army. Well, we have beaten them a bit. Still, though, hmm. we would like to take Tehran. Is that possible already? Sue so for peace. Can we take Tehran? Wouldn't be possible as of now. Savar. Adalan, not at all. It would be a separate piece too. We have to negotiate with Biapas. They would give us Tehran. <laughs> Fuman and Astara. Astara not at all. Yeah, they want to survive, but Tehran they would already give us Tehran, so that's good. Make this a little quicker. Where's our power going? Power is going good. Uh, they're going to Kirmashe. Mm, they're going back there, right? We have to move around. They want to go to Ardalan. We have to catch them, but this is difficult. Yeah, we need to leave this place. Maybe here, we need to go here. Cannot go here, we can only go this way. All right, then. They're catching us there. They're going to Ardalan. And we will recover quickly here in that place. Also, mountain terrain, it could be the perfect trap. And they are going back to Ilam, which we will do too. And now we can go this way to Ilam as well. Maybe we can catch them now. They're going to Ilam. Yeah, definitely we're going to catch them. This is the way. The way of the black sheep. Ah, Soleiman Ansari. You have a problem, right? Right? Shock? Wow. How much shock has the five? Oh my god. We only have four. But we have a good role here. Look at that. Now that's what we want to see. They have been eliminated fully. Ah, the Battle of Ilam. The legendary Battle of Ilam. Korra, Koi, Yunlu, the black sheep. The black sheep are uh, celebrating their great, great victory. Now we can split up again. These guys go back to Ardalan. You guys go 
hier. Take every core we want to get. And we're happy now. <laughs> this has paid off, right? <laughs> good stuff. What a nice war. Taking war score is also good. Really nice. Really, really nice. We could detach a... Oh, we cannot detach a siege. Could we do that like this? No. Mm. So they can go on their own, which is good for us. They will go over Savar, Quam and Swarm. Which is exactly what we want. Aragona Faceting Gem Cutting Masters in Barcelona have made a breakthrough in diamond cutting by experimenting with diamond dust suspended in oil on their scales. This is allowing the Aragonese artisans to cut the rare stones in entirely new shapes and to much greater brilliance. The resulting technique known as faceting produces a stone of a more pleasing geometric shape with better optical qualities as the new stones and the technique for making them spread across courts and workshops the demand for jewelry, diamonds and precious stones is increasing greatly. Uh, we have to look for these stones to celebrate uh, celebrate our victory, to present it to our Sultana. Melikates has the culture we desire. Nice. Very good province too. even though Armenian. Ah, this is so tempting now. I mean, this region of Armenia, development there would be nice. And uh, we have made it in Tabriz, I think. So we can end this edict for now. They're prosperous now too. Mm hmm. No, we'll, we'll end the edict here. And this is just such a great... Look at that. Everything is Shiite. Nakchivan is Caucasian. Oh, everything is Caucasian here. Mm. Yeah, we have to go for something that influences Persia develop that maybe we should we should continue our edict here with development and go for Moranje uh, and there we have it and we can just develop there a bit should be good it's a very cheap price through to through the prosperity and encouraging development there we go some manpower so nice the manpower yeah maraje is really deserving that it's in the mountains but it has given us much help there's that, maybe a little bit more admin. And there we go. Murrinjay. And we're good, our treasury is even increasing. We can demand a tribal tribute. Oh, nice. Uh, is that decreasing though? Yeah, it's changing per year. We could train horsemanship. We don't need at the at the moment six Muslim cavalry archers for zero of the coast and twenty five percent of the time. Oh, all right, that's great. We can just gain six cavalry. We can afford that even. 
I love it. Six Muslim cavalry. There we go. Conscripts from the tribes. In Tabriz. Really good. This is the right time to go for it. Ooh. The Nogayans. Uh, Jahan Shah. Turmush will go there and we'll allow friendly armies to attach. Maybe they'll help us too. Go for this. Come on. Oh, we need your help, guys. Ah, uh, we're the de we're not the defender. Come on now. We need your help. Ah, right time. Right time. We won. They lost. A great battle was won, as you can see here. Ooh. But also terrible losses. We'll move back with this army so it can recover quickly. <laughs> Terrible. But we've converted the heretics of Baghdad. Really nice. And now... Kerbala is already converted. Uh, where would be next? Probably Tikrit. Tikrit is very important also for the history of the country. So, there we go. Also, we want the Iraq Arabi region to become a strength of our empire. Look at that! They're coming. The last regiment is also coming. Nice going. The Timurids, they have declared war in Najam as well. Good news. How will this affect our, uh, our war? We'll see that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. May the back sheep warm you <laughs> in times of trouble. Have a good time. Until next time and happy gaming.